Hi, and welcome to Review Geek 3000, and this is where we eat, sleep, game repeat. To watch exclusive content, so please like, share, subscribe, smash that notification bell, and as always on this channel, stay awesome! And yes guys, this is the third episode of Contenders Corner! And here we are, ready to talk wrestling. So yes guys, this is the Contenders Corner, the third episode, and this is the Raw Re. View. So yes guys, Raw began with a new theme and the broadcasted commentators we were joined by Tom Phillips, Samoa Joe and Brian Saxton. Phillips touted the Funny Dome and promoted the Hell in a Cell pay-per-view whilst Joe called out and hyped up the match for Keith Lee and Braun Strowman. Saxton gave us a hyped he hyped up the drafted new superstars on the red brand Raw. The show began with the broadcasts were talking and the lighting went red. We were joined with we were joined by Alexa Bliss in the middle of the ring. Alexa said the words let him in before the fiend entered and the ring where they both joined hands. Soon after Retribution Logan then filled the arena as it appeared on the fun dome screens. The members of Retribution then surrounded the ring with the Fiend and Alexa not phased by their presence at all, guys. Mustafa Ali smirks at ringside and then calls out to Retribution to attack, but that was cut short as the lights then turned black and then quickly turned back and the Fiend and Alexa were gone. They disappeared, guys. So this guys and it kicks off. Raw then kicks off with match one. Hurt Business vs Retribution. Mustafa Ali had T-Bar start off this match with Bobby Lashley. T-Bar managed to secure some offence but Lashley overpowered him with a flatliner. Slapjack was tagged in and was also dominated by Lashley. Slapjack was isolated as MVP secured a two count. Alexander tagged back, back in. And he went to the ropes but was distracted by the other members of Retribution. This allowed Slapjack to pull him off the ropes. Ali then tagged in and worked over Alexander while dumping him to the ringside. Ali then slips between the ropes and then slams Alexander's head into the barricade. Mace fought with Benjamin. Benjamin connects a high knee on Mace but picks up a two count. Lashley and T-Bar connect blows again. Lashley goes after Ali but is intercepted by T-Bar. T-Bar grabs Lashley from behind but Lashley counters and connects a hurt lock known as the full Nelson. T-Bar taps out and hurt business win by submission. So yes guys, this match, I'm going to give it a rating of 3 over 5. And that is the Contenders Corners match rating for that match. Then we can see the, the Fiend then appears on the big screen and he then comes down to ringside and brutally manhandles the other members of Retribution after the match. The Fiend sets up a sister Abigail on Ali but T-Bar breaks it up. This allows the Fiend to regroup and put down T-Bar with his sister Abigail as Ali watches. The hurts, the hurt business are seen watching this unfold at ringside. Alexa Bliss is then seen on the big screen, mouthing the words, "Let him in," but a male voice is heard saying this over. Match two, we have Style vs Riddle. Styles vs Riddle match starts off with an altercation with the referee and Imog Behin. Styles had to have the re. The big dude leave the ring before the match goes underway. With the big dude refusing to leave, this could have jeopardised the match as the referee was quick to count the styles out. With him leaving the ring, the match went underway and it starts off with back-to-back -back 
connections with kicks from both AJ Styles and Matt Riddle. Riddle puts AJ down with high kicks to the chest. AJ Styles tries to hold on to the ropes, but the official pulls Riddle away. Then Riddle connects with a gut wrench suplex on AJ. <laughs> but not one, not two, but three gut wrench suplexes. Yes, guys. And they all connect. As AJ falls to the outside, Matt Riddle tries to gain some offence on AJ at ringside. But the big dude stands in front of Matt Riddle. And Riddle quickly chickens out of a confrontation. It's back in the ring with these trading blows again. Riddle connects a high knee to the jaw of AJ and AJ is put down. But quickly enough, AJ connects the Pele kick and Riddle hits a German suplex. And AJ hits Riddle with a knee to the back of the neck. Back and forth action here as they both trade blows. Riddle gets a two count on AJ. They both trade blows on the top rope before both men crash hard to the mat. But Riddle hits the ringside. Riddle is distracted by the big dude and AJ gets the advantage and delivers the Styles Clash and gets the win. So yes guys, my review on this one, the Contenders Corner match rating for this one is 4 over 5. So yes guys, 4 out of 5 for this one. It was back to back. I love the match. There was a lot of action in there. And yes guys, 4 out of 5 for that one. Match 3 is Oscar versus Alana. And again, guys, a very <laughs> we all know the victor in this one. And this was a very quick match. And we know the victor was going to be in this match. Lana tried very hard with a few kicks. Was very lucky to secure a two count on Asuka, which I thought was impressive. But Asuka put Lana in the Oscar lock and secured a win by submission. Oscar secures victory in less than two minutes and 15 seconds. The Contenders Corner match rating here is 2 over 5. Quick win for Oscar, which I thought was good. Lana managing to get some connections here and managed to get some fight out of it. I'll give it a 2 out of 5. So, match for the WWE Women's Tag Championship. Nia Jax and Shayna Baszler versus Mandy Rose and Dana Brooke. Versus Lacey Evans and Peyton Royce versus Liv Morgan and Ruby Riot in a four-way match. So yes, guys, this was what a what a what a absolute match here. Massive pile up at the beginning, an overshot moonsault, back-to-back -back action from all women in the fatal four-way. But in the end, Nia Jax tags herself in and delivers a small drop on Lacey Evans and gets the win. The Contenders Corner match rating here is 3 out of 5. So yes guys, that is mine. Then we go into match 5, which is Kofi Kingston versus Sheamus. Kofi and Sheamus haven't met in the ring together in a match in 9 years. And this was a very anticipated, if only this was a pay-per-view match. Guys, back-to-back -back battling, Sheamus enjoys to punish... Enjoys... Punishing his victims and gets a two count off the gate. Kofi went through trouble in Paradise, but Sheamus counters with an Alabala slam, but gets a near fall two count. Sheamus nearly secures victory early. The match goes on. As Sheamus picks off and plays games with Kofi. Both men are sent crashing down off the top ropes. Kofi then connects. The trouble in paradise and Kofi takes the win. What a match, guys. Wow, seriously. What a match. And Kofi deserved this win here. And yes, guys, the contenders corner match rating here is 4.5 out of 5. An absolute fantastic, stunning back to back. My God, guys, absolutely stunning. And the match was won in 13 minutes. Match 6, Miz and John Morrison versus Tucker and Al Gran Gordo. As we can see, Mark Henry is still seen watching on the Thunderdome. Gordo works the match in his cape at the start. Tucker makes a hot tag 
Gordo works over both opponents and Miz gets pinned after a power slam, but Morrison breaks it up. Tucker takes out Morrison and Miz takes out Tucker. R Truth enters the ring holding his 24 7 title belt and walked out the other side. Drew Gallak and Akira Tazawa chases after him and Gran Metallic and Lince Dorado were chasing after him as well, but they were seen watching Gordo perform Otis's signature manoeuvre on Miz, whilst Gordo secures the win there, and Tucker and Al Gran Gordo take the win on that one. I'm going to give this match a three, a 3.5. No, I'm going to give it a three. Three over five there. Three out of five. And that's that, guys. The Firefly. And then the Firefly Funhouse is hyped by Phillips. The Funhouse starts off with Bray taking out items out of a box. The Fiend's hammer and the Black Sheep's mask. Then quickly cuts in to sadly leaving. To saying how sad he was leaving his Smackdown friends. But embraces making new ones on Raw. Alexa can be heard laughing behind a door. Bray opens the door. And then we can hear Bray say he saved the best stuff for last. Alexa replies, the fun is just getting started. And Bray shouts, yowie, wowie. So yes, guys. Contenders Corner. Matt, the Contenders Corner rating here for that episode is a 5 out of 5. Bray Wyatt does do some great work here. And we had The Fiend tonight. We had Bray Wyatt, the Fiend. Fiend, man. And you, you know, you can't get no wrong here. What a, sh- what a show this was. Then, the final, the main event. Braun Strowman versus Keith Lee. Another very quick match here. And Braun Strowman gets the win by using his head to low blow Keith Lee. He connects the big boot and gets the win. After the match, both men trade blows and Keith Lee delivers a low blow on Strowman. And that is that, guys. And I'm going to give that one a 3 out of 5 as well. Only because it was a quick match. A very quick match. I was much, I would have rather preferred this match to have dragged out. I didn't want it to be quick. I think the rust, the main event. So Randy Orton could get his get his bit you know that that's that's my opinion that's my opinion i think they could have had a longer main event here you know braun Strowman versus keith lee i thought that would have been a 10 minute 15 minute match back to back but it is what it is guys at least we had two great matches in that match So yes, Randy Orton gets his way and he goes on saying he's had seven matches in the demonic structure and that he's never left a piece of himself behind and that he's understood himself better. That every time he walked through the curtains to the structure, he understood what he was capable of and goes on every time he recalled being the ring with each opponent he laid eyes on in the structure. He remembered facing Mark Henry. He remembered facing Sheamus. He remembered facing Jeff Hardy, Daniel Bryan, John Cena twice and becoming WWE champion twice and looking up to Undertaker in the eye and earning his respect inside hell in a cell. And that each of these, each of those opponents are Hall of Famers or will be in the future. He goes on to recall that it was a legendary moment when Drew defeated Brock Lesnar for the championship. Drew makes his way to the ringside and Orton talks him to break the lock if he wants him so badly. Orton stands in the ring with a chair in hand and Drew closes the door. Whilst he says to Orton, your ass belongs to me. To close off the show there. And that is that, guys. And now all we are left to see now is... Hell in a Cell. So yes, guys, my con- the Contenders Corner events for Raw is going to be a 4 over 5. I thought the main event 
was rushed too quickly so Randy Orton could get a promo done at the end. It, I think Raw could have been more Hell in a Cell driven here as the matches didn't... The matches... The match card for Raw didn't seem to employ a Hell in a Cell build-up. I feel this show could have been a lot better, but again, it is what it is. And this is the Contender's Corner. And on this show, we talk wrestling. So yes, guys, this was the third instalment of the Contender's Corner. And if you want more of this, then please like, share, subscribe, smash that notification bell. And as always, on this channel, stay awesome. And we'll catch you on the next Contender's Corner. And hopefully this time, it will be a review on Hell in a Cell. Just guys, we've got to do another Contender's Corner. And that is because the match card will become more driven and more apparent. And we'll see you on that one. And then on the fifth, the fifth Contender's Corner, we'll do a Hell in a Cell review on there. Just guys, the next... Hell in a, the, the next Contenders Corner, episode 4, that's going to be predictions of every match for the card on Hell in a Cell. And this is Review Geek 3000. It has been great to speak to you again on the Contenders Corner. This is the Contenders Corner and we are done. <sighs> Talking wrestling. <laughs> Rant over here, guys. I'll see you on the next one.